वेलकम टू स्टोरी इमेजिनेशन लेट योर यर्स एंड द माइंड वर्क हेलो किड्स टुडे आई विल टेल यू अ स्टोरी फ्रॉम ए सब्स फैबल्स अबाउट हाउ पी कॉक गॉट इट्स फेदर्स डू यू नो व्हिच इज आवर नेशनल बर्ड यस इट्स पी कॉक इट वाज इन द ईयर 1963 दैट पी कॉक वाज डिक्लेयर्ड एज द नेशनल बर्ड ऑफ इंडिया पी फाउल्स आर ऑफ थ्री काइंड्स इंडियन पी फाउल कांगो पी फाउल एंड ग्रीन पी फाउल In India we have the Indian peafowl. Let me tell you few interesting things about peafowls. The male bird is called the peacock, the one with long and slender blue neck and beautiful green feathers that are decorated with eye-like pattern in bright blue and brown. The female bird is called peahen. Peahens are brownish in color and slightly smaller than the male. and they also lack the beautiful colored tail baby peafowls are called peachicks a male peachick looks almost like a female baby and only after 6 months the bird's color starts changing and by 3 years the beautiful colorful feather grows do you know what peacock's feathers are called they are called train have you seen a white peacock It is actually yellow in color when born and turns white as it grows. Peafowls mostly live in groups. A group of peafowl is called a muster or a party. A family of peafowl is called a bevy. Peacock also holds a special place in Indian Hindu religion. It is the vahana or vehicle for Lord Kartikeya and Goddess Saraswati. Why Lord Krishna is always seen wearing a peacock feather on his head. Hmm. Peacock is a bird, so can peacocks fly? Yes, peacocks can fly high, but not very far though. Now, let's see the story of how peacock got his feathers. The peacock was an ordinary bird with a small bunch of normal feathers. One day, the peacock visited Juno. the goddess of protection he prayed to her that he wished to look grand and beautiful juno looked at the peacock and smiled she liked him as he was a good bird the peacock then described the long train of brightly colored feathers that he wanted to trail behind him he also wished to be the loveliest of all the birds to his great joy Juno agreed. Wow! What a wonderful tail he got. Blue and green with a jewel-like pattern, opening up like a fan. The common birds looked at him in surprise. Even the pretty long-tailed pheasants felt jealous. Peacock felt very happy and proud and looked up at the blue sky. He saw an eagle soaring high up in the blue sky. those days even peacocks used to fly this peacock too since he always used to fly slowly lifted his wings and tried to rise from the ground he could fly high till a certain height but could not fly long distances he tried tried and tried but failed because now his train was very heavy the peacock was shocked he realized that by trying to have a beautiful train he has actually lost an invulnerability to fly long distances so what do you learn from the story think well before you choose what you want in life believe in yourself and develop your talent rather than wishing for something that is of no use to you did you like the story see you another day with another story stay safe stay happy Ta-da!